Hello everyone, my name is Arjit Kaur and you're welcome to HighTimeStudy.com's YouTube channel. Here we are going to do today is the detailed video about the article Ecology, Definition, Subdivisions and Scope. The word ecology is derived from Greek word language ecos and logia. Ecos means house or place to live and logia means study of. That means study of house or place to live, which denotes the word ecology. So for an idea, it can be said that it is the study of environmental house, including all organisms living in it and all the functional processes occurring inside it. That means we can say that ecology is basically concerned with the study of relationships between living organisms and their environment. Here we have the definition of ecology. There are various types of definitions of ecology presented by various authors from time to time. But in very simple words, ecology can be defined as study of interrelationships between organisms and also of organisms with their environment. So let's have an example here. We have an island. Say we have an island. We have this organism here. We have another one more organism here. Then we have one more organism here. We have abiotic components like soil. We have some water body too here. Let's make it. So now let's get back to the definition. So it is the study of interrelationships between organisms. Relationship between this organism and this organism. Relationship between this organism, this organisms, or these any any random organism we can take next and also of organisms with their environment say what is the relationship of this organism with the soil what is the relationship of this organism with the water body and same way the relationship of these so the definition of ecology is study of interrelationships between organisms and also of organisms with their environment. So it is a very simple word definition. Now let's move forward to definitions given by Ernst Haeckel and Charles J. Krepp. So first of all, we have Ernst Haeckel who defined ecology as the study of natural environment. Please note the word natural here study of natural environment including relationships of organisms to one another and their surroundings and next definition is by charles j krupp who defined ecology as ecology is a scientific study of the interactions that determine the abundance and distribution of organisms so uh, let's have the detailed thing about it about the definition given by Charles J. Krepp. So say we have an island here. Okay, and uh, let's make two parts of these. Right. So this is this area is fertile. And this is area is dry desert, no water. This is fertile water abundance in this area. So now, according to Charles J. Krebs, ecology is the scientific study of the interactions that determine abundance and distribution of organisms. How? So we have, say, organism number one, two, three. So now, if they want to choose which area to live, uh, this also lives in fertile soil, this also lives in fertile soil, but this organism does not live in fertile soil, instead live in desert. So fertile soil, fertile soil living. So both one and two will live here in the fertile water abundance, etc. 
here so this is this is where they have to interact with the surroundings they uh, they are adaptive to their this environment whereas the third organism is adaptive to desert environment desert type environment uh, where it can live in no water conditions say and dry conditions it can live but this uh, organism number three cannot live in the fertile soil so according to charles j crab ecology is the scientific study of interactions that determine abundance and distribution of organisms so we can say that one and two organisms will live in this soil whereas the organism number three will live in the dry soil or desert condition that denotes the abundance and distribution how these three organisms are distributed on this island half is fertile and half is desert next so we have subdivisions of ecology two major subdivisions of ecology are, are orticology and synecology first we have orticology it is the study of individual organisms or individual species with relation to their environment so if we take the island and we study one type of species or one type of individual organism how it's or what type of interaction it has with its environment where it is living in the soil water trees what is the interaction of this organism with its environment that comes under the orticology in our, in orticology unit of study is individual species this is something to remind in orticology unit of study is individual species also called species ecology now there is definition of species species is a group of organism which can interbreed produce fertile offspring a species share a common gene pool this is something to remember we will do that in future videos but for the time definition is enough next second type of we have we have we were doing the subdivisions of ecology so we have done orticology now we have is synecology it is the study of groups of organisms associated together as a unit with relation to its environment in synecology unit of study is groups of organisms and it is also called community ecology before we move on to the example let's have the definition of community and population community includes all the populations occupying a given area and population is a group of organisms of a species occupying a particular area at a particular time so we have an island again here we have this organism this organism and this organisms so as a unit together as a unit 1 2 3 together as a unit how these organisms have interaction with their environment is studied under synecology and the unit of study is group of groups of organisms next now we have some important branches of ecology habitat ecology based on nature of habitat includes freshwater ecology marine ecology desert ecology forest ecology grassland ecology etc we are doing the habitat ecology here freshwater marine desert forest grassland ecology etc next is population ecology study structure and dynamics of populations we have already done the definition of population here next we have ecosystem ecology it deals with analysis of ecosystem structurally and functionally we will do this in a separate video but for the time ecosystem ecology is the study which deals with analysis of ecosystem structurally and functionally next we have is conservation ecology deals with preservation management of our natural resources production ecology deals with energy flow and nutrient cycling within the ecosystems so these are the important branches of ecology next 
we have is radiation ecology. It is concerned with the effects of radioactive materials on both living systems as well as on pathways through which they are dispersed, including dispersal through abiotic environment. So for example, we have an, a river here. Some radioactive material is thrown here. What will be the effect of this radioactive material on the water present here? on the soil nearby, on the living organisms inside this water. So this all is uh, studied under radiation ecology, also called radioecology. Next we have is paleoecology branch concerning with the ancient organism or organisms of past and their environment. Next we have gene ecology studies genetic makeup of species or populations in relation to environment. Genetic makeup of species or populations in relation to environment. Next we have space ecology concerned with development of ecosystem for supporting life, especially human life in outer space. So we know that International Space Station, a very nice example of studying the space ecology. Next, we have chemical ecology examines role of chemical interactions between, between living organisms and their environment. Then we have is human ecology, study of relationships between humans and their environment. So lastly, we have a scope of ecology. Why we need ecology? Why we need to know the relationship among organisms and their environment? Why we are studying all this? So ecology has its significant importance in almost every important sector. Great importance in the fields of agriculture, forestry, wildlife, public health, animal husbandry, climatology, geology, etc. It provides valuable guidance for conservation of natural resources and related national affairs. It helps in tackling environmental problems like pollution, greenhouse effect, etc. Broadening our knowledge about chemical biochemical cycles, protection of flora and fauna, maintaining balance in nature. So these were the points about the scope of ecology. And that's all for the lecture of this video. Thank you so much.